Our first date, I ruined his plan. I really wanted to watch the Canelo fight. He wanted to take me to Claremont, which we enjoy really very much now. So I had asked him if he would, you know, if he wouldn't mind watching it instead, and he agreed. And we drove down to Buffalo Wild Wings, one of my favorite places. And we ended up watching the fight. After that, we ended up going to our friend's house, actually. Our friend Nina was having a little get together and Shella had invited me and so I was comfortable there. So he obviously got invited because that's their, you know, their friends. And so I was so happy to go and you know, it's a lot better for me because I don't do very well on first dates. So I get really nervous and I panic. It's better that we did that. So it was, it was nice, it was really nice. The moment that I knew and that she was the one I was going to marry was on my 30th birthday. And she threw this big surprise party and she threw it on her, uh, her dad's backyard. She hung up lights and set up tables and had catering and drinks and a DJ. And the amount of people that she had invited there, like her family, friends, my family, friends, like it was, it was pretty amazing and I for sure took a lot of effort. I knew, and even before, like, you know, I, no one had to tell me, but as it went around, the guys were even telling me, like, hey, bro, she did a lot for you, like, you know you're done, right? You're done, so. And then, um, towards the end of the year, like December, I remember New Year's Eve, we were hanging out at Andy's house after New Year's Eve party, and, uh, I was just looking at her and again just like just seeing her mingle and get along with everybody and I was just telling my friends like my uncle Will and Juan, I was just like this next year I'm gonna I'm gonna propose to like I'm gonna do it. I made up my mind. I wanna say thank you for coming to this special event. At church I was seeing my daughter like the little baby and now she become a beautiful lady. And like Carla said, uh, she wants to be, when she grow up, she wants to be like her. I can say the same thing. <laughs> Here is the mom, okay? I'm sorry, but Lorena is an amazing person. And God made this wonderful gentleman exactly for her. Message for the future. Um, it's kind of exciting because uh, I know as much as I love you right now, it's only going to get stronger as time goes by, even when you're wrinkly, even when I'm wrinkly, and uh, even after you got some babies popping out of you. They're running around. But uh, just all those experiences that we're going to have together as husband and wife, it's going to make me, me love you more. And there's already, I would already do anything for you. So I'm excited to even just have that feeling for you, and, you know, in the future and kind of know how that's like. And I just want to build those memories with you, my girl, my dream girl. I love you. I, Victor, take you, Lorraine, to be my wife. I, Victor, take you, Lorraine, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. about Victor Gabriel. I can't, I can't express to you 
how very proud I am of you from the moment that God sent a message that you were coming. When I held you in my hands and my arms, my heart just overflowed with so much happiness that I actually slept with the bassinet next to me and me touching you because I didn't want to leave you. You are beyond the young men where you grow up to be. You are an example, not just to your family, but to your brothers, to anybody that has the pleasure of knowing you. Together for the first time tonight, as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Arellano. treats me like no one has ever treated me and um, dating him is like dating somebody from the 60s like he is the most traditional most loving and affectionate and attentive man I have ever met and um, he shows me so much respect and has so much patience and I love him I love him so much for that and um, I've never met anybody like him he really did capture my heart because of that. And he's impressed me since day one. 